Membership in my constituency is falling, and that's a good thing, according to Rachel Reeves, the Shadow Chancellor, as Labour verges on bankruptcy, in part down to those lost membership dues. Labour is now pro-business, she proudly boasts in the Financial Times, when it was set up to be pro-worker. No doubt delighting trade unions, already having withdrawn funding from Labour for not offering value for money to its members. This woman is an economist, yet it's readily apparent that her political ideologies supersede any semblance of financial competence. Clearly, she strongly believes those wealthy Blairite donors will be knocking on the door any day now. Any day now. Rachel Reeves believes 200,000 members leaving her party is a good thing because in her mind they're all racists and anti-Semites and it's a clear sign the party has been cleaned up by Keir Starmer. Bitterly ironic since one of her political idols was the racist MP for Berlin, Nancy Astor. She thinks this is a good thing because these people were entryists and should never have been allowed to join the party. Yet we've all seen the stories of people being suspended or expelled, even retrospectively. We've seen this done to people not just attracted to the party by Corbyn's transformative agenda, but many who have been members longer than Reeves has even been alive. Oh, but there's the right sort of isn't there? Your sort, like you and your sister and her husband and all, all of them Labour MPs. Any more family want a seat on that parliamentary gravy train or is it getting a bit too nepotistic now, a bit too Trumpian? These entryists don't share Labour values, but let's get this right, because what she really means is they don't share the Labour rights values, her values, and their crime is to have been socialists. Your values, Rachel, are believing we should be tougher on benefits than the Tories, ditching popular policies that have changed lives for the better in favour of none at all, pledging to stick to Tory austerity. This still laughs at the idea of free broadband when the value of that during the pandemic became obvious, but blames the party's current financial woes on the previous leadership, which actually left the party £13.5 million pounds in the black, and which Starmer and Evans have blown. That makes so much of dealing with racism, it is delaying the Ford report yet again. A determination to keep Jeremy Corbyn out, but admits a Tory MP, no questions asked, who voted to dump sewage in rivers, voted to turn migrants around at sea, cut the £20 uplift from universal credit claimants further impoverishing them, and who voted to take away people's right to protest, and who may have breached lockdown rules to party as well if a photo during the rounds turns out to be authentic. These are your values, Rachel, but you're right about one thing. I don't share them. I'm not a conscienceless, amoral careerist interested in nobody but myself, and if that's Labour going forwards, then bring on its replacement.